correct to use the formula that the derivative of the inverse tangent function is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Uh, but then you have to use the chain rule to take the derivative of the inside. So here I've shown that I've taken the done the first part, 1 plus the parameter of the inverse tangent squared separated the numerator and denominator into two separate quantities squared, and you'll see why in a minute. Now, to get the derivative of the inside, to apply the chain rule, I have to use the quotient rule. So it's the denominator, 1 minus ax, times the derivative of the numerator. a is a constant, so the derivative of x is just a 1, which I have not shown here minus the numerator, a plus x times the derivative of the denominator. Uh, the derivative of the minus x term is minus a, all over the denominator squared. Uh, I can simplify this numerator to a squared plus 1. I'll let the viewer take care of that part. And now here I'm distributing this denominator, 1 minus ax squared times term of this denominator and I so I get 1 minus ax the quantity squared and then when I multiply this denominator times here these cancel out so I get a plus x the quantity squared possible there but it's interesting to see what might happen does this simplify any further uh, so I squared this term or this binomial 1 minus 2ax plus a squared x squared. Squared this binomial, a squared plus 2ax plus x squared. Notice that the minus 2ax and the plus 2ax combine to 0. So I've got a squared x squared plus an x squared plus a squared plus 1. And now this denominator has four terms in it. So... It sort of looks like maybe factoring by grouping might lead somewhere. So I uh, noticed that there's an x squared in each term of the first two terms of the denominator. So I factored out an x squared, leaving a squared plus 1, plus a squared plus 1 I put in parentheses, and see that each term here has an a squared plus 1 in it. So I factored out that a squared plus 1, uh, leaving the binomial x squared plus 1. And lo and behold, the, there is a common factor in the numerator and denominator. a squared plus 1's cancel out. There's your final answer, at least in simplest form, 1 over the quantity x squared plus 1. Now, real quickly, I'm going to share my screen and show you how I can convince myself that this answer is correct. I've graphed the function f of x equals the inverse tangent of uh, a plus x over 1 minus ax, and a is a constant, so I can create a slider, and I don't have to show the graph of the tangent function. I use the Desmos uh, derivative uh, function to show what the derivative of f of x looks like. There's its graph. Uh, then I um, created the function q of x that's similar to, to what we did on the whiteboard uh, before we simplified, and it matches what we started with. And finally, v of x is the simplest form, and that also has the same graph. So that convinces me that this answer is correct. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. I will post the URL to the Desmos graph in the answer. There you go. That is how you solve it.